Om Shanti. How would you feel if all of a sudden your life partner let you know that he or she is not interested in sex anymore? How would you react? Will you take your life partner to the psychiatrist to brainwash him or her to give the uh, physical needs that you desire from him or her or you would rather cheat on him or her or would you take that as a reason to put an end to the relationship if you are very much addicted to sex obviously you would end up doing any three of the things I mentioned but how many of you are aware that you are the luckiest person if your life partner suddenly loses interest in sex and also let you know that most men and women lose interest in sex within few years of their marriage and few men and many women who are interested in spirituality they will not have any interest in sex even before the onset of relationship because of the massive brainwashing by social media that sex is good people just don't reveal the fact that they are no longer interested in sex because they know if they do they will be laughed at that is why i said earlier that if your life partner reveals that he or she is no longer interested in sex you are the luckiest person on planet why because it is damn sure that your life partner is not going to cheat on you so you will no longer have to deal with your fear of losing your partner that itself will make your life very peaceful and now it's your turn to make your life partner peaceful by assuring them that you will never cheat on them how do you do that because they know for sure how uh, high sex drive you possess so now you need to work on yourself spiritually to overcome lust so that you bring down your sex drive to zero it is possible after all god has created us with zero sex drive at our birth it is this society that brainwashes us into believing that there is something in sex but that's not the truth the reason highly spiritual person has low sex drive or no sex drive is because he spends so much time in visiting the religious places in reading the religious texts and communicating with god constantly so this leaves him no extra time to spend with his friends and relatives so that there is absolutely no chance of letting others corrupt his mind that is the reason why he has no sex drive after all it is purely because of our thoughts that we get either high sex drive or no sex drive so if you are busy thinking about positive things then you will leave no chance for the sexual thoughts to enter your mind that is how 
you don't have any sexual drive so by knowing this secret we need to implement the same spiritual technique to come out of our high sex drive there are many men and women who say that they can't sleep without having sex or without masturbation the reason for that is their mind is so filled with sexual thoughts that they just have no control over those lustful thoughts anymore so that implies the weakness of their mind or the lack of control over their mind if you, if you can't control the lustful thoughts then it is equally true that you can't control any emotional thoughts be it anger or attachment or ego any such thoughts you will have no control of so it is high time that you should take control of your mind by spiritual method by connecting your mind to one god actually god created this world free of lust 5000 years back and that was heaven so people were very beautiful both externally and internally in heart they were so good they can think only of lovable and peaceful thoughts they don't have any sort of selfishness the reason is they considered themselves to be the imperishable soul that shines like a tiny star in between the eyebrows which is why hindus have this habit of wearing religious symbols in between the eyebrows so they naturally had this ability to remember themselves as souls for the first 2500 years so that's the time this world was heaven after that this world becomes hell because we lose soul consciousness and gain body consciousness because of which we become slaves for the sensual pleasures thereby become addicted to the five vices lust greed anger attachment and ego because of these five vices or sins that we have been doing for the past 2500 years that we are facing punishments in the form of diseases natural calamities and the problem between relationships thereby we lose peace happiness prosperity and health and beauty so it is mainly because we lose our purity by falling for lust in hell we start losing everything else god once gave us in heaven and god gives this teaching just 100 years before the end of the world he enters an old man's body till then he was dwelling in this golden red colored light world called the soul world not only god we souls also resided along with god in this soul world his god is also a soul which is why he is called the supreme soul the only difference between god and we souls is we enter this birth and death cycle while god stays away from this birth and death cycle in the end 
he doesn't take birth like us instead he enters an old man's body and he names him brahma and start gives giving this teaching called murli which is available totally free of cost in all raj yoga meditation centers it is also available online in many youtube videos and websites the links of which i will be giving in the description below so all we need to do now to come out of lust to come out of high sex drive is to remember god as point of light as much as possible and also we need to consider ourselves to be this imperishable soul and not this body along with that we need to listen to morally points and we need to churn over that repeat it to yourself throughout the day so that you don't give any chance for the lustful thoughts to enter from the outside world or from within you so the more busy you put yourself in churning the morally points your soul becomes more and more stronger as it was originally while we were in heaven 5000 years back so by doing this practice you will soon be able to conquer lust as much as your partner which means you have become a powerful soul when your soul becomes powerful to conquer lust it will also become very peaceful so when your soul or your mind becomes extremely peaceful not only you have conquered lust but also you have conquered anger greed attachment and ego only then you will become fully peaceful so you become extremely peaceful just by conquering lust so when your life partner knows that you are no longer interested in sex as well then they will also be at peace so they don't have to worry that you will eventually cheat on them so that's the best gift you can give to your life partner not only that now you can prove to your life partner that you are truly loving them without any expectation because you don't have anything to expect now all you have is to give love so this love is going to be unconditional love as that of god it is only by conquering the lust you are taking your love to a higher state the divine state so this is how your sins get totally washed off and you become as pure as god it is by becoming as pure as god we are taking rebirth in heaven again okay, because after the destruction of this old world which is going to be accomplished by natural calamities and third world war we will be transferred to heaven so for that we need to become as pure as we were in the beginning so the only way to do that is to remember god as a point of light as much as possible not only that we become eligible to enter heaven but also even in this birth you are free of any expectations so you will no longer have lust or anger or greed or attachment but your life will be filled 
with only happiness and peacefulness. So by becoming pure, you are making yourself happy and also you are making others around you happy. So it is the lust that makes you peaceless and make others peaceless, which is why lust is called the number one enemy by God. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave your valuable comments and please subscribe if you haven't and thanks for watching and don't forget to share this with your friends and relatives.